Uh, my name's Kira Mickleborough. Uh, my name's Melissa Winter. My name's Jason Paddy. I'm Chanel Bass. My name's Nathan Bassett. My name's Dane Jeffries. My name's Ian Sevens. I'm Samantha Jeffs. I am a teacher at Narangbar Valley School and I am a teacher of digital solutions. The message that I give parents is the fact that it allows teamwork, it allows collaboration, it gives students a chance to have a voice that may not normally have one inside the classroom. It's really key about having students think outside the box, about having them look at where technology can be taking them and not pigeonhole them and assuming that it's all about coding. There are many facets and elements that they could tap into and this sort of design allows their mind to explode with ideas. Coming into today, I had very limited knowledge as to how to embed design thinking into any subject and, and what it was that actually connected the different aspects of, of subjects all together within a framework. Having the skills taught to us and shown to us today on how to do that and how the various parts of the process come together was really valuable. It's definitely given us a lot of food for thought in the programs that we offer here at Narangba and um, ways of implementing design technologies into our maths and science programs moving forward. Design thinking is a very much different to how you'd expect to see a school classroom compared to what it would be like when a parent was going to school. A lot of the skills that are going to be highly valued by employers are skills like collaboration and creative thinking and coming up with ideas and critical thinking. And they're not necessarily accessible in subjects like maths and science, but they're really valuable skills that teachers still need to pass on to their students. The way we have changed is through our curriculum and our pedagogy. Our design thinking is one of those pedagogical moves that we're making to engage our students in the current curriculum and also pushing the envelope of how that curriculum will look in the future. The ideal model needs to open up a little bit more and be a little bit broader and look more at the skills that our students need to develop. The jobs that they do when they leave our school and the jobs that would be available will change as time goes on. So deeper learning skills like creativity, collaboration and innovation, working together, working with people is, is where they need to go. Our teachers then become more activators for learning, not necessarily the people with all of the knowledge all of the time, but then partner with our learners. The inquiry model or the design thinking model is a pedagogical practice that will broaden thinking for our students and rather sticking just within a subject area, it will allow them to develop those skills to think a little bit more outside of the box and a little bit more creatively.